We learned our whole lives that we are defined by our thoughts and emotions and sensations. And we are a successful person if we have lots of positive thoughts and emotions and sensations. And we've failed if we are experiencing all the time negative thoughts, emotions and sensations. And in balanced view, we just call all emotions, sensations, experiences, data. And this is, it's, it's very sad. It's very sad to, to believe that the positive are good and the negative are bad. Because this is not actually reality. This is not how it is. This is miseducation in the nature of mind. And I can share like this so boldly because I've seen this in my own experience that this is true. I, ha I experience, experientially have seen that it doesn't matter if I experience every single day for the rest of my life negative thoughts, emotions and sensations. They can't affect me. They have nothing to do with my life satisfaction and flourishing. And the same with positive data. Experiencing positive data all day is not a success. In fact, probably the opposite. It means that I'm not allowing myself to be me. I'm not allowing myself to experience the negative because we're human beings and it's natural for us to experience the full spectrum of emotions, thoughts and sensations. Probably every minute we experience positive, neutral, negative. So here we come and we are shown how we can actually just allow ourselves to be as we are how we can allow the positive to be as they are, how we can allow the negative to be as it is, without needing try to try to control anything, without needing to try to attain more positive and get rid of the negative. We just stop. We completely relax. We stop trying to do any of that. It's done. It's over. And so actually, sitting here, we're just learning how to completely relax as our power, as open intelligence, the true reality, the only reality. And so to get familiar with open intelligence, we just stop thinking for a moment. When we stop thinking, we recognize this stability this power, cognizance, alertness, the power to know. And if you manage to stop thinking for a moment and recognize this power, because it's so, it's so obvious, you will also find that when you start thinking, that's also present. <coughs> Open intelligence subsumes not thinking and subsumes thinking. So whether we're experiencing negative thoughts, emotions, sensations, or positive thoughts, emotions, sensations, open intelligence is obvious and present. And we can tap into open intelligence by just taking short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. Just like that, wherever we are, Extreme social anxiety, short moment of open intelligence, allowing the social anxiety to be there, seeing we're not affected by it, recognizing our power of open intelligence, and seeing that social anxiety is completely inseparable from open intelligence, like all data streams. All data streams inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue in the sky like the breeze in the air. You can't take the breeze out of the air. How could you do that? 
can't take the social anxiety out of open intelligence, inseparable. Every short moment we gain assurance. We gain assurance in the inseparability of whatever it is that we're experiencing. Short moments of open intelligence become continuous. This is the only practice we have in balanced view. <coughs> it's so simple, it's so easy. I know for myself when I was taught short moments, I almost felt like it was insulting because I had spent so many years of my life trying to access open intelligence through different practices meditating for four hours every day. Spent lots of money giving to people who, prom who told me that they had some type of technique that would show me what open intelligence is. However, maybe I was able to recognize it for a moment, but that's sort of irrelevant because I want to know what open intelligence is in every moment of my life every single moment and so that's what short moments provides you with it provides you with access to open intelligence permanently short moments of open intelligence become continuous and so we have this incredible support system network in balanced view called the four mainstays which guarantees that short moments of open intelligence will become continuous and it's, it's a really, really beautiful offering, the Four Mainstays. Like just coming here to this meeting, this is one of the Four Mainstays, the training. Being able to ask questions, being able to clarify, say social anxiety, I really feel like there's something wrong with it. I really feel like I need to make it go away. I feel like I can't be natural when social anxiety is arising. And then you sit here in this meeting, you ask this question and you see, you experience the inseparability of social anxiety from open intelligence. You really see that social anxiety does not have the power to affect you in any way. And so you go out there and you test it out because social anxiety will come up. It comes up for everybody. When we start to allow our thoughts, emotions, sensations to be as it is, everything comes up. Even the things that we think we don't experience, I don't experience social anxiety, I'm really confident. Social anxiety comes up. But we say, wow, we have complete confidence in social anxiety. And then it just becomes fun. Because we can relate in such a natural way, no matter what is arising. <coughs> So coming to these meetings, participating in trainings, really, really supports you to empower whatever it is that you're finding it hard. Whatever, whatever that affliction is that you feel like this is not part of open intelligence, coming to trainings, listening to talks, this really makes you see that yes, it is also. There's nothing excluded. And then we have short moments, this is another mainstay. And the third mainstay, we have the training, the trainer. And a trainer is somebody who has just gone before you and has clarified these afflictions. As a trainer myself, I know that every single question that comes up, I know that in my own experience, because I have gone through all of those afflictions. I have felt at some point in my life that those data streams have had the power to affect me and through my commitment to being here through my use of the four mainstays I now see that they don't so I can share my experience with all of you and then you can borrow my trust and you can see like I'm just a normal person like all of you and whatever I can do you can do too The Four Mainstays work for everybody. There isn't no one that the Four Mainstays don't work for. Whether you think you resonate with the Four Mainstays or not, it doesn't matter. The Four Mainstays will work for you. 
And then we have the community. And it's a very magical community because just being together and everybody is really taking that commitment to not change their data, to see themselves as open intelligence. We see that we can do that too. So coming together in every opportunity, it's so precious. Eating together, everything we do just becomes like a training, a really, really fun empowerment, whatever it is that we're doing together. Because every single word that we speak, every single conversation that we have is all coming from a completely different intelligence. It's not coming from an intelligence that believes that social anxiety, awkwardness, boredom, have an independent nature of their own. It's coming from the knowing that all data streams, no matter what they are, are completely inseparable from open intelligence, like a rainbow in the sky, completely infu infused with perfection as they are. And I know I, for myself, becoming a trainer, it, it was not a choice that I made. It was, it was when I recognized for myself that um, this intelligence, when I saw that I had spent my whole entire life under the miseducation that, that open intelligence was not obvious, that thoughts and emotions and sensations had an independent nature, when I realized that it just wasn't true, that there is another reality, that there is, there is a reality that, that shows humanity how each of us can live our potential in every single moment and flourish together, then it's like there was nothing else that I wanted to do with my life than to show the end of suffering for all human beings. Something that works. Not like a whole lot of fluffy words, but something that actually, that actually works. That's what I dedicate my time to. So thank you all so much for being here and for, uh, for really investing your time in, in something that works because just all of you being here and see and clarifying all of this data for yourself in your own experience is the most benefit that you can be for the world right now.